Barry Saunders. I love this. Love this song. Thank you very much. It's, this it's, is the first time it's ever been played. I'm not even supposed to be playing it, but, yeah, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's never been. Uh, it's, uh, it's the first, first time it's ever been played, yeah. Well, aren't we lucky? Thank you very much for well, letting us do that. It's funny listening to it through the phone like this, you know. It would, yes, it would be, it would be, but it is a, it is a beauty. I love the lockdown baby references. So when did you write this? <laughs> <laughs> it was written, written, written during the lockdown. You know, you get, get a bit bored of people telling you what they're doing during, during the lockdown. But, but uh, it, it was written during, during then, and um, so that's what it's about. I had this reoccurring dream that I was back in Australia and travelling. You know those big double decker trains that they have in Sydney. Yeah, the silver and, ones. Um, yeah. You know, silver ones. <laughs> we were going out to the desert in one of those, and had the dream about three times, and that's where the song comes from. Amazing, because you know, it sounds quite Australian to me. This track as well. You can feel the yeah. I wonder sometimes. It. Yeah, uh, yeah. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, yeah. So maybe it's all that fiddle and accordion and sort of stuff. You know. Yeah. I yeah. think so. I we, think so. Yeah. We have got a. Some some of our stuff has got that vibe to it here. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but, well, I suppose we can trace that right back, Barry, to to the time when you were in uh, yeah. in the UK and oh, and you were in an Irish band. You got right into yeah, it, didn't yeah. You? All those yeah, all those elements are in there somewhere. Um, I mean, as you get a bit older, I suppose all you you, you really are. I mean, you're some of your parts. You know, you're not inventing anything new, but you're dragging along a whole lot of stuff with you. You know that you've done. <laughs> I read an interview with you recently and someone asked you what, what the meaning of success was to you and you said, like, get, waking up in the morning. I laugh so much. Yeah. <laughs> waking up in the morning in silence is good. <laughs> Both things I've got to appreciate a lot more. It really tickled yeah. me. It really did. So tell me, you're, you are currently in Little River. What brings you there? I've just been talking to someone uh, in, in Christchurch about doing a trip for the trans, uh, for the Silver Train song, and um, and so I'm going out to, to uh, Akaroa to see my re relations, and uh, it's a beautiful Canterbury day here, and there's snow on the tops and stuff. It's really good. It's really quite beautiful. It's really, Magic. You know, it's, 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 sometimes I think, you know, it's, it's amazing the places a, tra a song will take you. <laughs> well, ex exactly. It takes me to places like this. Right, so you, you, know? you would like to film it in Little River, this video? No, we're going to film it in Christchurch, but um, I'm just tr driving out here today, yeah. Oh, to meet the just person the to discuss. The got you, got you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how, how are you going to find a silver train in Christchurch, or, or you're not going to be that little? I don't know. There won't be the boat won't be one because it's just a metaphor. It's just a head thing, really. You know. So we'll just play the camera, and they'll make us look pretty if that's possible. And um, and uh, and turn the camera on. Take take it from there. <laughs> take it from there. Take, take it. Take it. From <laughs> Take it from yeah. You guys always look God. good. Come on, you rockers. Now tell me. Oh God! It's been a long career, hasn't it? I mean, do you are you constantly surprised that you keep? You're obviously still prolific and still writing, and you want and you keen to get back on. I the still road write guys. a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I still write a lot. It's just something that I do, you know. And um, uh, the songs keep coming, and as long as they keep coming, we'll keep recording. And, doing stuff and I do I do a lot of solo stuff as well uh, and stuff with other people you know I had an album with myself and Delaney Davidson last year yeah and uh, how was that and, um, it was good yeah we won a won the Nobel Prize for it or something <laughs> <laughs> it was really good and uh, we, that was that was really good it was something different for both of us you know mm. That's right. Although, although and, uh, you know, his voice lends itself to to that real country style, though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, and uh, and uh, as I've gotten on a bit, I've found it's really really nice to collaborate with people and do things I wouldn't have considered a few years ago. Would have, well, I suppose it would have been an ego thing already, but it's, it's actually really good when it works. That's, and, a, that's um, an honest appraisal to to mention yeah, that you might yeah. have ego. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, God. Another artist, yeah, so, Jackie, Jackie Bristow, you collaborated with, didn't you? That's right. I've been doing some shows with Jackie, and we got we recorded a single, and she's away in America at the moment. We're going to um, maybe shoot a little road clip for that when we when she gets home, and um, do some do some winery shows down in Otago or something. Yeah, sounds good, and, especially uh, in summer. That, yeah, that's something to look forward to. Yeah, she and I sing together well. It's really cool. You know, it's nice nice to nice to have it. Um, the voice of the Wahimi in there. Yeah, the male female contrast, and she is. She has got yeah. a great voice. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So, you, are you walking around a bit <laughs> at the moment? <laughs> okay. Oh, am I losing you? No, 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 uh, uh, no. Uh, I, I'm just trying no, to get it. No, I, I, I walked away. I just talked to. Uh, I just. I, I, I found a quiet place to talk to you. At, um, be, be, before and then a guy. Guy saddled up with a chainsaw next to me, so I. Right. <laughs> I got down this end, and now there's two guys playing conga drums. Next really? To me, so I'm just walking away from them. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they just turned up. Yeah, it's kind of an odd thing to happen, isn't it? That is odd. First a chainsaw, then yeah. the congos. It's it's true about yeah, silence. Yeah. <laughs> isn't silence a hard <laughs> thing to find? Yeah. Oh, well, did tell me about it. You can, you can book into a motel anywhere in New Zealand and give it five minutes and someone will start hammering, you know. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, tell me, Barry, you are actually, you're really keen to, to get back on the road and you are doing that very soon, aren't you? Can you tell yeah. us a bit about that? Well, we'll do these tracks um, uh, and shoot clips and then we'll book some sort of tour. So I don't, can't be specific about what it is at the moment because I don't know, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go through the country again at some point and uh, and uh, sort of reconnect with people it's been been a while it's been a strange and difficult time for everybody mm. and um, it's it, you sort of it's, <laughs> sometimes you feel, feel something well is that is that what is that what I did <laughs> so you know like it feels like of, a previous kind of, life you mean yeah, it almost does sometimes, yeah, because these last two years have been had a big hole in them, you know. Yeah. And, uh, How was it for you? Know, you? Like, I mean, obviously the lack of gigs frustrating, but but good in terms of songwriting. Um, oh, it's, songwriting was was cool. Uh, it, it, the hardest part was, um, you, you know, you realise a lot of things, I suppose, when you're forced to, and... You, I just realised that what an outlet for energy singing is. You know, you you take it for granted, but you singing your songs is quite a. It's an energy thing, and um, when you don't do it, it sort of energy goes inwards, and mm. you have to sort of deal with it in another way. You know, but it's, it's same for everybody I know. But I just didn't realise what a outlet it was. You know. Yeah right. So do you mm. do? Did you get a bit down? Did you struggle with that at all? Yeah, yeah. Had some had some very downs and some and some good ups as well. You know, tried to sort of, uh, uh, you know, keep walking and talking and communicating with people and and banging down songs and writing stuff and just getting just try to try a few different sort of systems. You know. Hmm. I you hear know. you. Just, just kind of negotiating yeah. a different, a different lifestyle, I suppose. Or yeah, to totally, yeah. yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. But uh, I actually missed going places. I'm down here, like I said, I'm down here now. I've come, come from. You know, I, I grew up largely down here, and um, I missed, I missed plugging in with people a lot. You know. Yeah, I think the loneliness, so really nice. the loneliness has been hard. Yeah. Yeah, you don't realise how isolated you can become if you don't sort of make some effort to to to, to do something about it, you know. Yeah, well, that, that's yeah. the thing, and so yeah, so it's nice. So here you are, you're you're in Christchurch. You you were born in Taranaki, weren't you, Barry? I, I was born in Christchurch. Grew up grew up the first two years in Taranaki, ah. and then my father got got the job running the farm at Lincoln College, and we uh, we shifted there. So I grew up on Lincoln College. Right, and, um, <laughs> literally. It was, 
Yeah, it was amazing. I went from a school with 11 kids to thousands of people from all over the world and people from Africa, seven feet tall and stuff, you know, it was just unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. It was like being put into a, another world, you know. You know that lovely thing about, almost, yeah, sorry, as you were. All my, all my school reports say things like, I think Barry is having trouble adjusting to his new environment. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, damn straight I am. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've got these drawings that look like they're from outer space. You know? <laughs> did yeah. you did you think that took a few years to get your head around it, or what do you remember yeah, about I that time? So. I think so. I just remember. Well, Taranaki, we were very we lived in a little place called Mahui, and that was very isolated. And uh, as I said, there was only ten or eleven kids at the school, if that. And uh, and then going to a a huge place where there's all this activity and people, you know, from all over the world. It was quite something, you know. Yeah. But, you know, it was where I first heard the first heard music that I loved, and you know, uh, you know, early early Johnny Cash and people like that. You mm. know? So that was a quite a formative time. Yes, it's interesting how your dad, it was your father who sort of said, hey, how about um, you leave school and, and follow music? I've never heard of a father saying that in history. No, 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 it was, it was an unusual one, Matt. I think he was, I think I was channeling his, what he wanted to do. You know, um, I suppose you do that to your kids, but... But he was living you know. vicariously through you. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah, we've all done that. But he, no, both my parents... Really encouraged me to play music. I mean, I think my mother was slightly disappointed. I didn't want a bit more sort of career orientated, but but um, but Dad was but, right, you know, that's just, wasn't he? Yeah, just that's just the way it happened. It's just the way it happened with all its ups and downs, and you know, great times and not so great times, and and uh, but I suppose that happens with anyone, doesn't matter what they do. Well, you know? of course, but 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 for you, it was. Navigate it. It was pretty much, though, you were pretty sold early on, weren't you? And things did, things worked out yeah. really very well quite quickly, didn't they, by, by all accounts? Yeah. Yeah, I think I, think I was, uh, without sounding <laughs> ridiculous about it, I think I was meant to sing. It's the first thing I remember doing when I was a youngster. It was the way I sort of was, you know what I mean? Some people are sporty yeah. or whatever, and... Some people paint and stuff, and I, I just re remember singing from a very early age, you know. Mm, and enjoying mm, it, and mm. it, it was your thing. Yeah, yeah. And then I wrote a few songs and and uh, glided along on those like a film of oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it, it's, it, must, <laughs> it must be a lovely feeling, though, to be taken into the hearts of a nation, though, because people did, didn't they? You were... you. you well, uh, even, you know, you're, you're, I'm talking about the Waratahs now, you know, but yeah, um, yeah, so yeah. many songs that have become part of our songbook that, that will never be but, forgotten. What a nice legacy. That's a, that's a, yeah, that's a, very, uh, that's a, a very nice thing to, to hear from people and, um, and, you know, people say that all the time and sometimes in the streets or something, you know, and you, you think that, you know, it, it, to, to think how hard it is these days for kids to make records and get them played and get noticed, and you think, I just feel how lucky I was and how lucky we were, you know, we just made records and people played them. And the timing was, we were different, and 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 the songs sort of were part of the landscape, and people people... Uh, you embraced it, you know. You know, it, mm. it, a lot of things. A lot of things, I suppose, in life are down to timing, and uh, and uh, that was one of them. Yeah. And of I course, th we did the did the did the inter islander, and that <laughs> that shocked us into <laughs> into, into <laughs> mid New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Where you couldn't win. Couldn't window shop. Yeah. Yeah. No. And but and, uh, but but I, I've read I've read interviews about that particular episode when you were asked to do this, and you actually yeah. kind of even though I know you probably cringe and go don't play that song again, but it sounds like <laughs> it was it was a good thing to happen to the band, and and it wasn't yeah. it wasn't negative really. Yeah. 
No, it wasn't negative because we were known as a traveling band, and that's what we we did. We were we were primarily a touring band, and you know, Cook Street was part of our Highway One, you know, and yep. so there was never any there was never any strange feelings about that at all. Um, I mean, ads are a bit cheesy by their nature, I suppose, but mm. but but there was never any. I mean, I, I love, I still love traveling Cook Street, you know. Yeah. And um, we never wrote that song. I never wrote that song. It was written by a jingle writer called Rob Winch, and um, I ran into him in Oriental Bay one day, mm. and he said, "Oh, I want you to sing this thing." And I was in a good mood, and I just knocked off the booze, and and I just hit it, and it was just, it was just right, you know. It was just one of those happy accidents. Right. And. Um, uh, and it, you know, a week later they filmed it, and then a week after that, it was like in every living room in the country for about five years. You know. well, well, longer. <laughs> yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah. I just couldn't believe the impact of it. That's right. That's the, uh, the impact of the small screen, eh, on Kiwis oh, at that time. Oh, sure is. Yeah. Especially, in the, I suppose it was that last patch of New Zealand where media was that big, you know, Mm. And before everything sort of dissipated a bit, you know. That's right. But um, I think but, so. Um, oh no! In that in that era, uh, certainly, and I mean that that to me is it stands out in my memory as well. I can still s- visualise the ad too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. Isn't <laughs> it? I have seen it on occasion. Somebody sent it through to me on the email, thinking they were doing me a favour the other day. You see, <laughs> see yourself in sort of. <laughs> 25 years ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's kind of a shock, it's and it's, it's, but it's, it's also... a little bit frightening. Yep. Yeah, I, I hear you. But let's yeah. talk about Maureen, yeah. which is a hugely popular song, which I'd actually like to play very shortly and then come oh, cool. back to you and ke- if, you don't, if you can hang on for a bit. Um, so, yeah, cool. so, you know, with this particular track, which is, you know, like, uh, you know, one of your big success stories, is um, yeah. it was, uh, you wanted this to be more soul sounding, is that right? That's right, that... That da, 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 that was sort of like a, a sort of I was thinking of it like a Motowny thing, but then Nick played it on the fiddle and I thought, oh yeah, that I was originally going to have brass on it actually. It was kind of weird, and then Nick played it on the fiddle and um, I thought, oh no, that's it, that's it, and that, that it suited the lyric more. You know, it was more of a folky sort of landscape, you know, mm. or urban landscape. Mm. It turns out. Okay, and. Uh, and um, so, yeah, it was a. It sometimes things turn out completely. It's like painting. You sit down to paint something, and you think you're doing one thing, and then you realise you're doing another. You know, music's a bit like that too. Yeah, right. Thank you. Good. I, you, my 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 girlfriend doesn't enjoy it. She hates that song and calls it calls it chlorine. <laughs> Why? So, uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps she's not in it. Because her name, <laughs> because it's not about her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> hey, Barry, I've got to say, we've just had a text in from Simon. He said, say hi to Barry. Loved the soul fillets at the St. George in Wellington back in the day. With Mar- oh, yeah, with yeah. With Murray and Lorraine holding court at the bar, Happy Days. Does that all bring back memories? Oh, when I first shifted to Wellington, I... I uh, um, filled in in a band in Wellington, just playing guitar. It, it was very briefly before I got, got the Waratahs together. Actually, oh, really? and, uh, and that was quite a quite a time actually, because I'd, uh, I'd I'd come back from Australia and I was a bit sort of you know it's like when you arrive back here, mm. you're sort of just trying to pick up pieces of stuff and. Um, it was quite a, quite a, quite an amazing time actually to be, to be sort of, to, it was a good way to plug into Wellington. Oh, fun! It sounds sounds great at the St George. Yeah. So were they were they always busy nights? You know, there were good crowds and people got into. Yeah, it. they were. Yeah, it was a covers band, and we used to play soul standards and some country standards, and uh, and um, you know, it was, it was sort of like a house bar sort of vibe. You know, it was good. Right. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, sounds fun. Well, that's a bit of a bit of a distraction, but uh, I just it's nice that people remember those days. And yeah, yeah. I mean, you have had a long, a long career, a long career. Yeah, met a lot of people, 
met a lot of people along the way and um, still still in contact with a lot of them, actually. Tell you what, I've got so, to ask uh, you, what, what about the time that you supported the highwaymen? I mean, for goodness sakes. Oh, yeah. Johnny Cash, yeah, Waylon well, Jennings, Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson. You met them all. That's right. We spent about, oh, I don't know, a week, maybe 10 days, a week or 10 days with them on the, on the road. And um, not, not sort of in each other's pockets or anything, but, you know, doing the shows and, uh, you know, talk, talked quite a lot. And, and, um, and June Carter Cash was actually on that tour. And um, so it was amazing to have met them. Oh, really. so incredible. And what was she like? Yes, but, she was it just, it, they were all exactly as you imagine them to be. I mean, the great great thing about someone like, let's say, John Cash or something, is that, is that he, uh, he, was who, he was who he says he was. To me, that's mm. how he seemed to me. It, it, I, I always thought the old man in black thing might have been a bit of a myth, you know, but uh-huh. he was who he says he was. He, yeah. he he talked like that. He said things like he said Johnny Cash things and <laughs> yeah. and, and sang like that and okay. looked like that. Yeah. And were you intimidated yeah. at all by you know his stardom, or, or did he not make it that? Not way? at all. No, they no they weren't those sort of people. And also we were sort of um, we were really happening at the time. We just had our album out and everything was going great, and we felt really. Yeah, we felt good about things really, and and uh, it was um, it was such a such a cool thing to 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 be asked to do. Oh yeah, and meet all those people, have those have those memories. Pity we never did any photographs. You know, got a for a band that's been going a long time, we got a little lack of photographs. I don't know why. Why didn't you? Didn't, I don't know we did, there was no mobile phones then, so you didn't sort of take photographs like you do now. And uh, but we should have um, we should have should have uh, capitalised on that. T- t- yeah, taken a few more photographs of ourselves and stuff in different places. Yeah, I reckon. But, you know, they're yeah. all they're all in our heads now. Yeah. <laughs> so what yeah. when, what year would that have been? Ah, that would have been ninety uh, two. Ah, oh, so I thought eighty. Yeah. But no, ninety two. Right. Yeah. Yeah, oh. something like that. Yeah, maybe it's a bit earlier than that. Yeah. Interesting, because if but, I'd um, lived here at that, I must have been in London, because I would. There's no way it must have been that year, because there's no way I'd miss a gig by those guys, uh, because they're, yeah, they're all yeah. incredible. Yeah, they were. They were. They were good people, and as I said, they're just exactly as you thought thought they would be. You know, mm. it's kind of. Um, were they, they were, hey, was there, the, was there any, um, was there, you know, of course we've all heard about Johnny's prescription drug days and what have you and, and the yeah, drinking, yeah. et cetera, but was he kind of uh, quiet at that point, a bit older and quiet? Oh, yeah, no, the tour, the tour was dry. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> dry, tour. dry Dry tour. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds boring, but it sort of had to happen, really. Had to be necessary. Yeah, it happens, has, to, yeah. has to happen to all of us some, some, some point. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, well, I suppose not necessarily. I mean, you can make a career of it, if you, but uh, but no, it it, it it was dry. Yeah, mm. and uh, it's pro- who knows? It might have been better for it. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, who and mate, but it must yeah, you must have some great memories of that time. And like you say, it was a happy time for the band. You were feeling good. Yeah, it was a very happy time. Mostly, we've had happy times. We had a few unhappy times when we sort of ran out of steam or whatever, and. You know, or or got, you know, we're getting on too well. Stuff that happens, you know. Mm. But uh, mostly, it's been pretty good. Mostly, it's been pretty, pretty, pretty. You know, I'm thankful to have uh, met all those guys. You know. Yeah, you do seem to yeah. keep keep uh, keep reasonably harmonious, and uh, of course, there will be issues but I wonder what the key yeah. you know, how you've managed to do that because it's pretty incredible well I think because I mean it sounds a bit self-serving but it, the, the band has always been driven by the music there's never been any other agenda and not all bands are like that you know when I 
talk to other bands and stuff, there's sometimes quite a lot going on. It doesn't go on in the Warriors' house, you know. Um, right. Yeah. And uh, and and the thing is, uh, yeah, basically, the, the, the what happens is I write the songs generally. You know, we do the odd cover and stuff, and the band play them and turn them into the Waratahs, and that's sort of the way it works. And everybody seems to be quite happy with that. Mm. And uh, but I think what can happen in bands is, you know, somebody writes songs, then somebody else will say, "Well, well, look, I want to try some of my songs or something." And then you've got another thing. Yeah. And with you collaborating, you know, uh-huh. and can, then collaborating is another thing, and so it goes, you know. Yeah. And, and and it either works in a sparky sort of a way and has a result, or it doesn't, you know. And uh, you know, there's lots of bands that collaborate and make a real go of it, but that one just seems to. They just say, "Oh well, what have you got?" And I throw them something, and they they play it their way, and. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's, it's a, quite simple, really. <laughs> it's a formula. You have a formula. Yeah, it's a formula. And it it's works. Formula. Yeah. Yeah. And it's basically, if you think about it, it's, ba- it's actually based on old-fashioned country music. You know, that's the mm. way, you know, when Cash and Johnny, yeah, June Carter Cash and all those people were first writing songs, they weren't more, yeah, I don't think they were too worried about sort of all the other stuff. They just played music, you know. For the joy of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's true. Yeah. Oh, that, that's that's a yeah. good, good thing though. It's such such a good thing. Because yeah. If you yeah. Did you see the Beatles doc? You know the Peter Jackson uh, series. Yes, I did. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah. Did you see when George yeah. was trying to put his songs forward that, and, and then things got that, weird? That's right. It was a bit sad that one. Yeah. Very we're sad. Sort of sorry for George. But you know you can't dispute that the other two were the sort of. <laughs> Wow, you know, I they all had their input, though, you know, they, you know, uh, you, you know, George, George's input into the band is great, but probably not in such a song way as the other two. But, um, mm, although he did some lovely songs in his solo career. Yeah, he did. He did, yeah. I actually, I actually really like Ringo. I like Ringo's voice. Same, same. <laughs> I, I love Ringo. <laughs> Oh, I heard him singing Photograph the other day, and I thought, he just sounds so, he's got a beautiful melancholy to him. He sings like he looks. He looks like a little melancholic hound jack, dog. you know. He looks like a hound yeah, dog. Yeah, a little hound dog. Yeah, yeah, beautiful guy. He, and, um, he was great in that, in that, because I think people found out another side to the guy and how tolerant. Uh, he was either really bombed, God, you know, honestly. or yeah. right, really bombed off his head and didn't want to speak because he couldn't really speak, or he just is just this yeah. cruiser who put up with all the all the crap around him. And yeah, that's right. I think he was just a real... He was the one of the Beatles that was a real a, a pro musician, you know. He played in a lot of bands and sort of... But, and the other, the others were more creative, sort of. There were different types of musicians, you know. But I think Ringo was the one that sort of knew what the job was, you know. And he just stuck to the knitting, you know. Stuck to the knitting. That's it. Yeah. 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 You're probably right, and that's why. Yeah, he 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 just was even, wasn't he? You just did, there were no. High, he was, yeah, very yeah. Even tempered. Yeah. Yeah, he was cool and he was funny and he was... <laughs> Extremely. Quite beautiful, actually. Yeah, yeah. fantastic guy. Yeah. So tell me... So his you, wife's name was Maureen. <laughs> his wife's name was Maureen. Yeah. <laughs> Rue. Yeah. Or not Chlorine. No, not Chlorine, no. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to go around seeing Chlorine. <laughs> it's going to stick in my head now. That's really cruel. Yeah. <laughs> it is cruel, isn't it? It's Terrible. Cruel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tell her you'll get a new girlfriend if she keeps that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dearie God, me. Uh, no. Anyway, back to back to the music. So you actually have you've, you're doing this driving wheel tour, aren't you? September. No, we've done, we've done that. that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, duh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Duh. That was last year. No, we did. We're not. Yeah, we're not doing anything at the moment. We're sort of off the road and. Recovering from the old COVID and getting some new tracks happening and shooting a couple of videos and then uh, we'll just take it from there, really. Yeah, we'll, right. We'll, we'll, book some, we'll, we'll do some sort of tour. I'd like to do just Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, and Dunedin for a start, and 
and, uh, and then think about what we're going to do after that. See how you go. It'd be nice mm. to have you back at the Sherwood again sometime. Yeah, in Queenstown, yeah. Yeah, I reckon, yeah. Oh, cool. Is that where you're from? Well, that's where we uh, broadcast from. We broadcast from Gibston, and I live in Queenstown, yes. So, uh, obviously, oh, cool. yeah. it's yes. In my interest to get you to come to Queenstown, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Great, eh? Yeah. yeah. We spent, we, in our early days, um, uh, like really early days, it was, it was the first places we ever went away to was people, places like that, like Clyde and Oliver's and mm. those sorts of places and, pl- and played there. And uh, it was a very big part of our early life, you know. That part of the world. And uh, Yeah, yeah. And uh, I still love getting down there. So it, it is it's incredible special part of the world right yeah sure mm. is sure is and you know like yeah. remember you played the um the blossom fest in alex as well yeah that's right yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a few years yeah. back um God, yeah yeah but yeah you know alex, yeah. i think i think people are well people are starved of live acts let's face it across well across the country and not only yeah, that, yeah. we we really appreciate. I think in this part of the world, you know, um, people miss us sometimes, and so it is it, it is really valued, yeah. and supported when when yeah, bands come yeah. along. You know, one thing I've always thought about our music down there, you know, with the accordion and the fiddle and mando mm. and all that, you know, there's just the general vibe of the music. Is it it does plug into that part of the country more than any other part, the, and I I don't know whether it's because of the historical vibe of it, you know, the gold diggers or bush bands or Irish Celtic sort of vibe that it yeah. just feels at home there, you know? You, you, you put that very well and it is true. I think uh, mm. it suits this part of the world. People like the sound and I think you're right, the historical feel and that yeah, yeah, this, rural feel as well. This, yeah. yeah, there's something that, that, that connects there, yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, let's take another okay. of your songs. And look, this is one that has had a bit of airplay, but uh, I would like to um, play Hands of My Heart because it was quite special. What What are your memories of uh, the time w- when you wrote this? Oh, well, I didn't write this. Our, our, our original play, our piano player, Wayne, he, oh. he wrote the bulk of this Sorry, and I Wayne. finished it off. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I, I finished it off. So, yes, it is co-written, but, but um, it's uh, he had the original idea of it and I wrote some other parts to it and gave it that sort of vibe that it's got because it was totally different. Right. And then we just we just slammed it down and um, and uh, that, that was our first single. Yeah, ever. and, and, and uh, amazing, right? And when you put it down, when you recorded it, did you go, that's good, this is good? Yes, we did actually. We did, we, we, we did that. We, 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 we put it down at Radio News... New Zealand, a guy called Dick Lafort used to run Radio New Zealand then, and he rang up and said, "Come in and do some songs." So we went in without thinking. And we just we were just had a residency at the Cricketers in Wellington. We just played and played, and we had no we just hadn't thought about how we sounded. We just did it, you know. Right. Yeah. And then we went in. <laughs> we just <laughs> went. We went in and they recorded it. We heard it back and thought. Funny how that sounds pretty, pretty, pretty good, you pretty know. Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so, uh, so we put it out, and then it got played, and it got played on commercial radio, which was very unusual because mm. it was at a time of that sort of music just wasn't, you know, it was before, be, before the sort of the Irish country revival and. Yeah. You know, it was sort of big hair bands and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> True. And our sort of music just didn't really have a place. But it's just slipped in between the cracks somewhere. <laughs> yes, and thank God it did. And so let's hear yeah. uh, this single, great song, Hands of My Heart. <laughs> yes, like, Doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it's hard to listen to your voice from, from that era, but, 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 but it, still, it still feels good, yeah. It still, still feels good more than anything. It's yeah. got a good feel and it's yeah. a warm song. And, you know, your first single, yeah. 87, that came out. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when it came out, it had a... Um, there was a band called Tapao or something. They had a disco hit. Oh, yeah. And... It came out on forty. The hands of my heart came out on forty-five, and they printed the wrong. Um, they printed that song 
on our record. What? So the first few, <laughs> first few that came out had a totally different song on it. So people went out to buy it and they put it on and thought, what the hell is this? You know? Oh, no. And it's terrible. It's, it's so weird. Oh, it's so weird. So weird. weird. Oh, that's yeah, bad. That's, that's one of many weird things that have happened to us, you know. It's, um, yeah. God, you wouldn't, you'd hope that wouldn't happen today, wouldn't you? You'd hope so. I'd like to get a copy of the collector's piece now, but, you know, with the wrong track on it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It, it would it's be, really you could sell that on Trade Me for <laughs> plenty of money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. So, so now you've got this, now I want to talk about Wairarapa because this is something coming up in the summertime, this festival you're yeah. at. And I think, uh, is Jackie yeah. Bristow at that as well, uh, Barry? Jackie and I are doing it, yeah. And um, we do, we're doing that together. We sing some songs together and do that. And we'll have a single out by then. We'll do that. And, um, yeah, which is exciting. That's in the Wairarapa. That's in a beautiful race course there. Uh, I, sp- I spent half my time in the Wairarapa, between the Wairarapa and Wellington. Mm. It really is uh, quite a beautiful place. And... Um, and uh, it, it, it's, a, it's in a race course there. There's a whole lot of, and this is a country music festival of the, of the sort of, what shall I say, of the old-fashioned kind that right. people just turn up and play. You know what I mean? There's no masses headliners or anything like that. Or, or it's just a, a music festival, you know. Mm. And people turn up in caravans and house trucks and stuff like that. So it's that sort nice. of vibe. Yeah, okay. So mm, it's it's, great. it's relaxed. It's a beautiful part. Of, it is yeah, beautiful yeah. there, isn't it? It's lovely. It is, yeah. yeah. I've been happy there, yeah. It's, it's, it, the land is beautiful in the way over. Mm. And again, another yeah, place that perhaps where your music sits really well. In that yeah, apartment. yeah. Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, we've got a few homes around New Zealand. <laughs> well, they're strangely, we're most popular in uh, the cities, you know. Mm. We just did the Isaac in Christchurch last year, and that was that was a very big crowd, and just did, did Wellington, and that was two big crowds, and yeah, yeah. Sure and can, are you? Are you? Is this? Is this your lifetime? You know, uh, commitment. Like, do you ever see yourself? N- not doing this, or are you just going to keep on keeping on? At the, today, I'll just I'll keep on keeping on. I just don't know what I. Uh, um, I keep on as long as the songs keep coming. You know, um, there's been a few times when I've sort of sang the songs one too many times, and I thought, oh yeah, I'd like to pull up here for a bit. You know, mm-hmm. so uh, I, that's what I tend to do: pull up for a bit and. Uh, have a rethink or just do nothing, just think, just do nothing. Yep. And, um, and um, you know, mow the lawns or something. And, 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 and that's the way I do it. I couldn't imagine myself stopping playing, mm. you know. No. But uh, it's all the peripheral stuff that's tough as, as you go on, uh, the travel and, you know, they can't make a rental car that's comfortable enough and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hear you. And and missing your own missing your own bed, I, I get you. You know, sometimes it's nice to be home and yeah. Oh yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, it's good to get home. Mm. Good good to get home. Yeah. Mm. So, so have, I guess do it's you, just a part of you. Part. In, your, in your everyday life, do you catch up much with the guys, you know, with with Wayne and, and the other chaps? Well, I, Wayne, Wayne hasn't been in the band for many years, but I I, I, do, I was talking to him just the other day. We were talking about some photographs, actually. And um, we... Um, Alan Norman's been in the band for a long time, playing piano and piano accordion. But, yeah, I, ca- I talk... We talk... Um, yeah, I'd say every three or four days. You know? Mm. Yeah. Nice. We talk, yeah, we're not, we're not living in each other's pockets anymore, you know, because we spent years in hotels together. But, um, we, you know, every three or four days we have something to talk about. Mm, mm. It's good, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're just, about, we're just about at the end of the hour, and I know uh, that 
you didn't want to play cruising, but we have got it in the system, and I think we should just remind people, you know, <laughs> yes. uh, you know, of, of that time, and you know, yeah, and take take a little cruise, and it's yeah. a beautiful day for you know, so why not, you know, why not just a uh, a bit of nostalgia? But it's been really lovely talking with you. I will sack the, yes, research, the researcher. I'm so sorry about a couple of points in there, Barry. But if you forgive me, I've been um I've been a bit crook, and I have still the COVID brain, and that's the only I'll keep using oh, that excuse. Oh yeah, I've got a bit of it. So so please apologise. Yeah. To, to Wayne uh, for that, but apart from that, you know, apart from those little slip-ups, it has been a delight. It's been really great catching up. It's been up. great. Yeah, I hope you and enjoyed it. And I'm so pleased that people are still interested in the cinema. Absolutely. It's great. Oh, yeah, yeah. And oh. you, you have a wonderful spring, and we'll look forward to, you know, hearing uh, what you're up to and, uh, yeah, enjoy... Catching up at some point, yeah. Yeah, enjoy the next few months and uh, enjoy the music. All right, then. Thanks for getting in touch. Thanks so much, Barry Saunders from the Waratahs.